What's up you guys, it's Matt here. I know a lot of people have a problem with um, getting approved for a credit card. And they're always like, what credit score do I need to get approved for this card? Um, how can I get this card? I have such and such a credit score. What, what can I do in order to get this card? Well, I'm not gonna give you the information on how to get that card because there are a number of different cards that people said, um, what is the credit score for this card? Um, what do I have to worry about? Can I be denied all this other stuff? But I wanted to talk about credit cards that you will not get denied for, that you will get 100% approved for. Now, before I get started, make sure to hit the like button. Also hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one. And make sure you get your two free stocks with Webull down below. And if you want to support the channel some more, use some of the links um, down below when it comes to the referral links and uh, see if you want those cards. Now, I just want to let you know, this is an FYI, these are all secured credit cards because there's no other credit cards that will give you 100% approval. There are cards out there that claim they will give you a higher chance of getting approved, but it's not 100% chance of being approved. Now, I know you're probably like, well, this isn't really what I wanted. I wanted a unsecured credit card. An unsecured credit card would give me everything that I wanted, all of the different categories and bonuses and things like that. But I wanted to talk about these cards because they need to be talked about. You shouldn't have to go into applying for a credit card and hoping that you're going to get approved for this credit card. You should know that you're going to get approved based on what your credit score is. But if your credit score is so bad that you physically will not get approved and it's like a once in a blue moon chance that you will get approved for a credit card, then you need to see these secured credit cards and say, all right, I'll get these credit cards, use them for a while, and then apply for an unsecured credit card. So first you have a credit union secured credit card, which will give you a lot of benefit. So basically with this credit union credit card, it could be a local credit union, a larger credit union. Most credit unions will have a 99 to 100% approval because it's a secured credit card. You're paying towards that. If you're a member, um, you can easily apply for it and um, it, they will instantly approve you as long as you have the funds in order to fund the credit card. And um, you'll take $200, put it towards that credit card, and you'll use your own money as a line of credit just so that you, know, you can build credit history with this credit card. And that's what secured credit cards are all about. So uh, a credit union credit card will probably be somewhere around $200 of a deposit, a minimum deposit, and then you can have a maximum deposit of like $1,000, and then you'll be able to use that credit card um, throughout time. The next card is the Capital One Secured Credit Card. This card will give you a lot too. So it gives you that opportunity, just like the other secured credit card gives you that opportunity with 100% approval here. Um, you do have minimum deposits of $49, uh, $99, or $200, all depending on you know what you look like. You also don't have any one-time fees. You don't have to worry about any of that, but you do have the $200 that you would have to put up front um, as an initial deposit, which is going to be something that you're putting outside of your normal bank account. If you own a credit union like the first one, it's in your bank account. They check your funds to see if you have it, and then you can go on about your day. With the Capital One card, you have to push that outside of your bank account in order to um, apply for this secured card, but you are going to get the opportunity to own a credit card. Now, the next card is kind of iffy for some people, and some people might not want to go for it, but it's the Open Sky secured credit card that does have an annual fee. So I would imagine you're not going to keep these credit cards for a long time. Some people say that you should not close credit cards, which I totally disagree with. Um, you can close credit cards if you want to. You still keep the history, but that's a whole other story. But the Open Sky secured credit card will have a minimum deposit of $200, just like any normal secured credit card, like a credit union credit card, or even the Discover uh, credit card, Discover secured credit card. I just know the Discover secured credit card is not something that's 100%. That's not something that you can automatically get approved for. So no matter if you have bad credit, no credit, anything like that. So you still have to go through the process. But the Open Sky Secure Credit Card, you're going through the application process, but it's 100% approval. Um, you do have to pay a $35 annual fee in order to own this card, um, but it's an annual fee. So if you go the next year, you're going to have to pay $35 again to own this card. And like I said, you do not have to worry about just closing a credit card and your credit score dropping dramatically with the secured credit cards that you have in place, it's going to increase your credit score so much that 1.2 points, 3 points for dropping is not really going to um, hurt you, especially if you're applying for an unsecured credit card. So 
that's where like the Capital One secured credit card comes into play. Um, you can actually upgrade that and move into an unsecured credit card after a certain amount of time. But the Open Sky secured credit card is definitely a great option outside of credit union credit cards and Capital One secured credit card. If you feel like you have any other cards that are 100% approval, there are some other cards that I really didn't want to um, include in here. They have higher annual fees and monthly fees and things like that. You don't want to go for anything like that because that's a lot to pay, especially if you're just trying to establish your credit. A lot of times when people ask me, my suggestion is always find a credit union, find something that you can be a member in, and then you'll have that 100% approval and you can move from there. I started with PSCCU. They gave me my opportunity. Um, I had $200 in my account and I transferred that into a secured credit card, which gave me the opportunity to move forward. Um, and then I can get, you know, Capital One Quicksilver, the Discover It card. I can move up to the City Double Cash card, get some annual fee cards, some better opportunities here when it comes to credit cards. So these are my cards that are 100% approval. If you feel like there are any unsecured credit cards out there that are 100% approval, please comment down below and let me know what that card is. And I'll research it and let you know if it actually is 100% approval. There are some that are like 90% or 95, but you always have that small portion that will get um, denied. Even the people that are pre-approved for these credit cards still end up getting denied based on some more information, some more research that the credit card company does. So these are 100% approval secured credit cards. Make sure you take some time to look into different secured credit card options if you are interested in starting this credit card journey because you can gain a lot, a lot from credit cards. And I promise you that. But that's my video, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And make sure you get your two free stocks with Webull down below. And don't forget to use some of the links, the credit card referral links that I have below. Um, and maybe you want to apply for those cards. Maybe you don't. But go ahead and check them out. And uh, that's my video. I'm going to get out of here. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.